Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. That's right, guys. I want you to go to www.f2bbs.com. That's right. I want you to go there. You can, uh, this is a, a great site to fight against all sorts of nasty and nastiness by posting on f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. Go there, guys. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Poor Pluto channel. Today guys, I'm doing paid review 21QA13. And uh, before we start this, let's do a quick whist watch check. I'm wearing my Rolex Submariner date. Submariner date. I love this watch. Okie dokie, this, this was a paid phone call. Bit of advice. And I got to tell you, a very interesting question here. This guy, <clears throat> he managed to get a submariner date like mine before uh, Christmas. Let's read the story. Hi, Arch Season's greetings. Hope you had a chilled Christmas and your son is on the mend. This may be a question warranting a review submission, but thought to ask if you had an opinion on whether it's possible for a Rolex to have a factory defect in the bracelet that slips through quality checks to the AD and then within the AD itself, perhaps some kind of clamp was used in the process. So, okay. So what he's saying is, is it possible this watch, it had a very pro pronounced scratch scratch on it okay like he banged it into a bloody concrete wall or a brick wall i got the no date sorry it's a no date it's not a date it's no date sub from the ad in the city and two days after receiving notice some scuffs on one link in the upper bracelet next to it you can see his explorer 2 bracelet which i had <clears throat> off for six months. However, the scuffs don't look like the usual line <clears throat> like scratches you get from a desk. The AD says there is no way it would have shipped with that damage and I must somehow have scratched it, which I don't believe as I wore it once under a sweatshirt before noticing the scratch. Uh, anyhow, I called the Rolex store, Rolex service center in New York, but they can't diagnose anything via email. The AD suggested taking it into another AD to have the scratch removed. I wonder if doing so will thin out the link. As I see, it's not a removable link. Your opinion is welcome. Hope you continue to enjoy your sub. No more worrying about uh, splashes on the leather bracelets. Blacets, best regards, Brendan. So Brendan, he's bought this watch. He's worn it for a day or two, but he always had his sweater on. And then he's noticed this horrible scratch on one of the links. And he, typical, typical, I don't know where he is. He doesn't tell me, New Yorker or what typical guy typical he it's never him who's caused that he doesn't remember causing the damage he doesn't remember it can't be him they must have shipped it defective come on brendan 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 how i mean i mean seriously man this is absolutely ridiculous okay ridiculous okay that's all i can say there man you got to man up and say, yeah, I scratched the watch. Instead of trying to blame some other person. Uh, that's wrong with people these days. Instead of manning up and saying, I fucked it up. They try and blame, oh, it must have been shipped like that. I, I didn't. Man, do, do, do you understand? I mean, look, I, I got to tell you, man, okay. I, my own submariner itself there. I was having a shitty day. 
and I was I was scooping some ice cream, scooping some ice cream with a scooper, and the ice cream was in the other fridge, not this fridge here. This it was in the other fridge, Burfa. Now Burfa, that's a blower, that's a blower fridge, and that the ice cream is like it's like solid, right? And I was scooping it, and the scooper slipped, and I I scratched the top link. You can just see the little line there. I scratched, the scooper went flying. Okay. That's life, sunshine. That's life. That, that's, that's life. I thought, oh, okay. I didn't try and say, oh, my Rolex dealer, he shipped it. I didn't ring up MJT, MJT, MJT. You sent me a dud watch. I, I, I wore it as a man. Yeah, it was my own stupid fault. I was scooping ice cream. It slipped and it I got a little, little scratch. Little hairline scratch. Be careful next time, fatso. That's what I learned from that lesson. Now, in your case, you've got a massive gouge there. I dare say it probably looks worse than it is, but I'll be honest with you, you've probably leant against a surface and it scratched the shit out of it. Be careful. These are expensive Rolexes, but instead of just saying, hey, man, hey, 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 I've scratched it. No, you got to blame some other bastard. Oh, they obviously sent it like that. Man, half the time with these scratches, let me tell you this. Many years ago, I was wearing my white gold 5107 Calatrava. I love that watch. And I went to put gasoline in the car. I paid for the gasoline, hopped back in the car, and I noticed between, because it had a leather, leather strap, between on one of the, the legs there inside had a big gouge. <coughs> I didn't ring up my dealer and say, hey, you sent me a dud watch. I thought, ooh, how did I do that? I don't even remember scratching it. <coughs> but obviously I did, because it's obvious it stands out like dog's balls. Now, come on, Brendan. Instead of blaming other people for everything that goes wrong, why don't you man up and say, hey, I, I looks like I, I, I do. Oh, be careful. You better be more careful. But no, you immediately, you immediately ask me questions. Is it possible it slipped through AD? In, man, have you got some sort of mental illness? Are you absolutely delusional? Okay, because I got to be completely honest with you. This is what's wrong with society. Something goes wrong. You always look at blaming some other bastard. What about yourself? Maybe you weren't careful. Man, I, I, how could that have slipped through? For starters, Rolex checks it. The AD, if it was scratched like that, he'd just polish it out. And what are you going to do? You're going to send it back? They're going to give you a new one? I don't think so, Brendan. Uh, even... These are very short in supply. You've got to be careful, man. It is solid. Rolexes are very tough. But if you do stupid things, it's not going to look crystal showroom perfect anymore, okay? Okay, that's, that's basically it. But what I can't believe is, man, is the fact that you want to blame it on the AD. Blame, I mean, I, I don't really like the ADs. I don't like them. I don't like them. They're, not, they're no friends of mine, but come on, Brendan. Let's be fair here. I, I would say, you know, let's be honest, man. How, how this is just, this is beyond ridiculous. You've got to man up and say, hey, I got to be careful next time. Oh, I must have scratched it. How did I do that? You wouldn't even know if you've scratched it. You walk into a wall or something like that, and next you know you've got to man, man, you got to man up. Instead of trying to continually blame somebody else, something goes wrong. Who can I sue? Who do I blame? It mustn't. It can't be me. It's people like you who really. Um, I mean, come on, man. Wake up. Wake up and stop being an idiot. Okay, that's all I can say to you. Uh, what, what are you going to do? I mean, I mean, I, I can't blame the dealer. The dealer think, what the hell, man? You're out of your mind. Man, we'll help you, but you can't be laying the blame on us. That's like, you know, oh, I was driving my car and there's a big gouge on it. Oh, and they must have sold it to me like that. Are you out of your mind? Are you, you've got mental problems or... Man, come on.
Oh, I've been driving it for a week and it's got a massive gouge on the side. Well, man, man, you probably hit something, didn't you, eh? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, no, it could probably like that. Is there any... Man, you, you're out of your mind. You've got to... You've got to accept this. This is how life is. You scratch the car. You've got to take responsibility for it. There's no point hiding or trying to blame the AD, man. I, I think you're nuts. Be careful, otherwise you will damage it. That's it. That's exactly it. Uh, the fact that you were so, so convinced it was somebody else. So convinced. Ah, oh, kind of been... I mean, this is what's wrong with society. Always blame somebody else for your own mis shortcomings. Blame somebody else. I honestly, I honestly cannot believe it. What I can't believe is you actually had the balls to ask them this. I mean, your ego is so out of control, you, uh, you didn't even have the nous to say, hey, I fucked it up, how do I fix it? You immediately assume it came like that. I mean, come on, man. I, I could just imagine. You'd be a real prick to live with, wouldn't you? It's always the wife's fault. It's never your fault. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, man, man. Were you... I think I think you, you obviously weren't beaten enough as a child. That's all I can say. Okay, guys. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some comments down below. Guys, remember, I can't survive on Google Ads. I depend on these paid reviews to make my channels function. So without these paid reviews, I would sink. Guys, please get a paid review done. It keeps me on YouTube. 50 US dollars for a paid review. I also do phone advice and email advice. Look down below for details, and I will see you in the next one. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.